Well, Torah's position is fundamentally what we would call God in the gaps, the God in the gaps argument, so which sort of is if we don't understand something, then it's not understandable. Yeah, I, I noticed that they're maybe cleverly disguised. They don't seem like it, but they fundamentally are God of the gaps. What is bad faith, you ask? The hallmark of a bad faith argument is that it disguises the core point of a debate rather than addressing issues, beliefs, and values head on. One example is the lie detector. It's undeniable that he's not just not understanding the science he doesn't want to understand. He's actively lying. You complain that you being Christian isn't relevant, even though it totally is. The lie detector knows what you really mean. After all, they already know what your position is. He says wrong things because of his religion. That's why you only talk in front of ultra-religious people. You lie about science because of your religion. But when you say your actual beliefs are something else entirely, as a Christian, I cannot bring that into the classroom as a satisfying explanation. I have a duty to use the tools of science. I cannot, as a scientist, say that we will never solve this problem by naturalistic terms. What I can say is that we're nowhere close to figuring it out. I suspect that we will someday figure out how life was formed. One day in the distant future, I presume we will understand life's origin, but for now we are nowhere close. They have a choice, except that they have not accounted for the full spectrum of human belief about a topic or accuse you of lying. He's lying. He lies through his teeth because he knows he's lying. You're wrong and lying, you know. The lie detector knows the truth. It's easy for me to see through you because I'm not brainwashed. Do not challenge the lie detector on any of these points. They know more about your beliefs, your life, and your work history than you ever will. Because he's hiding from it. He has the intellectual capacity to comprehend the field. And by the way, here's why he's saying these things. Your entire public identity is lying for Jesus. I could never say that we'll never figure this out. God of the Gap says that, that we don't have an explanation, so we never will. If someone in the year 1700, you ask them, when are we going to have space flight? If they said, I don't know, maybe, maybe 250 years, they'd have been about right.